What is that? A bright object was seen streaming across the Colorado sky over the weekend. It wasn't a UFO. Astronomers say it was a fireball meteor. That just means it was unusually bright and possibly even big enough to have hit the ground. Some of the reports described it as a big red fireball. One said the light from the meteor lit up the entire block. Really amazing to see that. And it was pretty substantial. Like that was a, was a fairly decent one. Margaret Landis with the University of Colorado says most of the shooting stars we see in a normal meteor shower are about the size of a grain of sand up to a pebble but a fireball can commonly be three feet in diameter or larger. The interest and the excitement for this one and why I kind of regret being asleep at 3 a.m. Um, was it was observed by so many people, so it's not a particularly small one. The American Meteor Society says they received reports from Wyoming all the way to New Mexico. Oh, it's breathtaking. It's extremely bright. I mean, there could be an alien that has just landed, but yeah. you know, you know, the the, the aliens, you know, <laughs> they are, they are back now. The, the government told us. <laughs> There's video ver proof. Check this out. A green meteor captured on camera along the Gulf Coast early yesterday morning. Wow, this video is from the Louisiana Mississippi state line. But the American Meteorological Society said it also received calls from people in Alabama, Florida, Georgia, and here in Texas. Louisiana captured images of a glowing fireball in the sky early this morning. The celestial show was visible across several states and reports came from anywhere between Texas and Florida. But there are now reports coming in as far away as California. So this was a big event, but check this out. The fireball was caught by this security camera in Thibodeau from Chantel Denos. You can see how it just lights up the sky and the neighborhood like it's in the middle of the day for just a brief couple of seconds. Well, a small town in rural Queensland has become a meteor landing site. Locals across the north of the state reported seeing a bright green flash on Saturday night before hearing a loud bang. Astrophysicists believe the meteor, no bigger than a metre wide, landed somewhere in Croydon, which is a six hour drive inland from Cairns with a population of just 300 people. Um, yeah, it was a, was a shock, a um, bit of disbelief, but night turning today for a for a few seconds and and then soon after a god almighty roar a really loud bang like explosion just on the edge of town somewhere <laughs> lighting up the night sky over north queensland Whoa. a meteor turned fireball as it entered the atmosphere and landed west of townsville <laughs> It's light show captured by locals at home from the road, this from Cairns Airport and even from the air. I was very intense. I didn't know what it was at, the, the, at first. I thought it might have been a laser. Flight paramedic Michael Paulson was between Charters Towers and Townsville when he saw the flash. I've only seen this once before in the distance many years ago and this was a lot brighter. And I thought, well, we, it missed us, so I'm going to get myself a lotto ticket and see whether it brings some good luck. Experts have now confirmed what it was. Well, definitely a, a natural object. Yeah, you know, to have one over a populated area, also on a Saturday evening when people are out and about, uh, you know, reveling in Saturday activities. Um, you know, it's kind of a special treat. So I think that's a cool combination of it doesn't happen that often, but yeah. the timing and location is ideal. We just got this new image in of an historic event at an equally historic location, a green-hued comet that has not been visible in the night sky since the Stone Age. That's about 50,000 years ago. It was recently photographed above Stonehenge in England. As close as the comet got to Earth, it was still a ways away, more than 100 times the distance to the moon, but it is a rare and historic treat to see it. Well, the thing that's really cool about this is time, right? If you think of the comet as it goes around in its orbit as like a clock, then the last time that, you know, the hands were pointing to where it is now 
was the ice age essentially when there was you know two miles of ice above my head in rochester and the entire world's population could fit into cleveland so you know it's just it, what this really shows us is these comets are visitors from you know the dawn of time in many ways uh and it's just such an amazing thing to think about you know the last time this comet went by it was all forests and now it's you know new york city and TikTok. so the comet's pretty probably pretty surprised